let's uh, check the quality of the recording here of the internet because I'm not sure if you can hear me well. So can you confirm no. that my voice well, is clear? I can hear you very well, yes. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. Okay, so um, let's uh, talk about what we talked about from last meeting. First of all, I would like to invite you to give me a summary of the major things that uh, we discussed in our last meeting because we are going to build this mm -hmm. meeting of all the discussions mm -hmm. that we have in this meeting building on that. Mm -hmm. Our meeting of today is going to be divided into speaking part and mm -hmm. writing discussion. Mm -hmm. Most of it is going to be dedicated to improve your skills to develop a foundation, a structure, a basis for mm -hmm. writing a solid academic essay or academic-like essay for IELTS test. That's mm -hmm. our major concern of our meeting for today. But with that, we embed a little bit of discussion because, of course, we cannot talk about IELTS without talking about talking. <laughs> so uh, that is so. <laughs> that, that is that is one of the uh, that is one of the components of our meeting of today. So going back to the point that I highlighted here, give me a little bit summary of the major things that you found useful from our last meeting and what you learned and mm -hmm. where we are heading in our next meeting. So uh, the most important thing that I learned is uh, to keep my, uh, my, my sentences simple and um, loaded with information. This is the best thing that I had, not to okay. run ar around the, the subject without, uh, w with very large complement, and it, it means just one, uh, uh, one, one point. So, uh, or it hits just one point. Um, um, uh, as you said that we, uh, during the examination, one of the uh, things that will, uh, will I will have a, a mark about it is the lexical uh, diversity. So I, I try to have as much uh, as um, synonyms as I can the past mm -hmm. few days. Okay. Um, you, we talked about the structure of the writing uh, section, which is introduction, body, and the conclusion part. So I have to just imagine it uh, in my mind. How can I structure it very well? Uh, after that, I should start to write. Uh, I have to digest the subject very good uh, mm -hmm. before starting. Um, uh, I, I mean, we learned actually a lot of things uh, like uh, just keep it simple without uh, if you don't know any uh, some uh, the um, how to say the spelling just shift to another word. Um, the the writing is a, a process and not a product. Um, a lot of things I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So that's uh, so, that's a lot of that's a lot of traffic of thoughts out there. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's um, it's it's really necessary to touch upon the major elements because once we start building the uh, structure or the project of writing an essay, not mm -hmm. necessarily 250 mm -hmm. words because in future, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, one of the one of the key features of becoming part of the Western society is to be mm -hmm. able to communicate um, verbally and written. And mm -hmm. in order to secure a good amount of um, writing skills, you need to master writing alphabet or the ABC of writing or the basics of writing. And in order to do that, we need to make sure we maximize our amount of reading. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you say that it is um, um, a skill-based test, not uh -huh. a knowledge test. Do you hear me? Hello? I hear you. 
Yeah, I hear you now. Writing is a skill-based, it's not knowledge-based process. Mm. It is not like speaking, where mm. we partially attribute, attribute, um, we partially attribute the word speaking to our contact with our family, to our mm. uh, ability to confidently express our thoughts, to our nature and nurture, to our society context. There are multiple variables but when it comes to writing writing is independent in and out of itself and we do not necessarily have to tap on our knowledge when it comes mm -hmm. to writing we just need to uh to to provide multiple drafts to get to mm -hmm. the final draft and the final draft is not the final draft actually because there is a sequence of drafts out there that we can come up with by the process of time, because your mm -hmm. experience tomorrow is not going to be the same as your experience today. When um, my point that I wanted to highlight here is that when I was in the United States, the major communication that occurs in the society, uh, in the academic setting, occurs in a form of written, uh, mm -hmm. written words. When I talk with my professor, I send them an email. So I need to make sure how to master writing emails effectively to uh, my professors. When mm -hmm. I talk with my colleagues, I need to authenticate and uh, document that as mm -hmm. a form of written. Now, despite the fact that speaking is far more efficient, but um, speaking is what we call ephemeral, ephemeral. Uh, probably this is a new word yes. to you. Um, I'm just typing it up to you here. Mm -hmm. Ephemeral. It's, it's not something that we say and it sticks for years. No, it is just by the moment you finish your words, everything is gone. Like it, it's going to be your memory mm -hmm. that will decide whether to respond back to me or not. But when I send you a text message, you can... You can send me a text message now. You can send me a text message tomorrow. When I email you today, you can email me back um, 10 years later, inshallah. So the point is that uh, writing is what is left from communication mm -hmm. when people end communication. Now, mm -hmm. one way we have a connection and link to civilizations is through speaking or writing. What? Can I hear it again? One way we have a connection mm -hmm. with civilizations like Akkadians and Sumerians. Is it through speaking uh, or writing? No, of course, writing. Mm -hmm. Writing. However, mm -hmm. speaking was found centuries before writing. Writing was an invention that came later. So it was a skill-based sort of art that was developed later. But it's proved to be permanent, um, have a permanent effect on civilizations because on the sequence of civilizations, there were so many civilizations out there that just transferred uh, their heritage and their uh, mm -hmm. treasures through the process of writing. Like, for example, Sumerians, Akkadians, and hieroglyphic um, in Egypt mm -hmm. uh, language, it's all form of written text. The point that I want to mention and significantly focus on is that writing um, is a skill and mm -hmm. a skill can be developed by constant amount of practice. Um, where speaking might be, well, to some extent improved by writing, but it's more of knowledge that can instant, uh, uh, instantly uh, communicate and send your message. Even if you cannot use words, you can just use body gestures or signaling or mm -hmm. hand gestures mm -hmm. or eye gestures or all sort of, you know, body gestures. I like mm -hmm. writing where you have to uh, insert all of your emotions and make them mm -hmm. as forms of nouns and verbs and adjectives and adverbs. Mm -hmm. So far, 
so far, <laughs> so far, um, what we talked about is just tracing back the importance of writing. When it comes to IELTS, one way of their measurement of how skillful the student mm -hmm. is, is through checking diagnostically, running a diagnosis of the mm -hmm. student's efficiency in communicating messages uh, in a written form. Because when, when you go and study in an American or a British or Australian university, you need to have a mastery, a good mastery of writing. Mm -hmm. By the way, even native speakers struggle with writing, so it's okay yeah. to struggle with mm -hmm. writing, but to develop mm -hmm. uh, a consistent uh, linear form of structure, we, we fill it up later mm -hmm. with our thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, in order mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. so, um, I'll, I'll just talk a little bit and then give you the chance to communicate back with me. In order to okay. do so, we have to master two skills. Mm -hmm. First, the ability to read more, which is a skill that is developed by active, consistent habit. So mm -hmm. at least reading one hour for 21 days. And you will discover why 21 days if you finish reading chapter one of The Power of Habit. I finished the half of it, actually. Perfect. It's a very <laughs> long chapter. It is, it is, but it's very useful because you will learn vocabulary from this chapter mm -hmm. and you will mm -hmm. learn to develop a habit for reading. Mm -hmm. So it's more of, um, has two, more than two purposes actually when I gave it to you because it just mm -hmm. walks you through how you develop a new habit for writing, a new habit for reading and mm -hmm. a new habit in life especially language acquisition and language learning and language uh, process. The second thing is the paraphrasing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we talk about paraphrasing, it's mm -hmm. very useful key feature of writing the first three or four lines of the paragraph for the essay. Mm -hmm. To masterfully able to rephrase it in your own words. Rephrasing is a key feature of successful writers because mm -hmm. when we rephrase, we refilter the thoughts of others in our own words, in our own mm -hmm. currency. As an example, I'm sending you this line here. Yes, the salary is the most important. When choosing a job, the salary is the most important consideration. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Now, rephrasing it, it means changing the structure of this question to make mm -hmm. it as a form of your own words. So when choosing a job, the salary is the most important consideration. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we paraphrase? We just change the structure to, to make it look like it is not the same as this, but to mm -hmm. make it look like it is our own words. Mm -hmm. Now let's let's play this game. Okay. How do you change this question? I'm um, sorry, this mm -hmm. statement in your own words. Uh, as a question or as a sentence? No, you want no as a sentence. Forget okay. about to what extent you agree yeah. or disagree. Forget about okay. it. We just need okay. to choose that as an example, because I said there are mm -hmm. two features of successful writers, their mm -hmm. ability to read more and mm -hmm. their ability to um, to paraphrase. Okay, I think it's going to be um, the um, enrollment, or we can say um, uh, applying to a certain job. Okay. Uh, or during applying to a, cer a certain job, uh, the first um, interest uh, taken is the salary. Okay, the I want you to say that again. Salary the first interest. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, during applying to a certain job, uh, salary will be uh, the most important uh, um, or the first interest. The fir well, salary will be the first interest. Okay. Um. I like it. 
I think it sounds really good. Um, I just want to say that we can shift, uh, mm -hmm. switch back and forth this sentence to make it look more um, okay. our own words. So, for example, when, when choosing a job, the salary is the most important consideration, we can switch it. The salary mm -hmm. is the most important consideration when choosing a job. Now, when we switch that here, let's uh, let's do that here. See, so we make it the salary is the most important consideration when choosing a job. Now, see, now we have accomplished a great job here which is trying to understand how we rephrase the first sentence. Now, I know you struggle a lot when you're writing the first sentence of IELTS, just because we haven't mastered the skill of paraphrasing. Now, what we did, we just paraphrased the question and we just created our basic foundation of uh, writing a very effective essay for IELTS. So, people's payment is the most significant yeah. aspect when determining occupation. Yeah. Uh, when Very you easy and, and great trick to write an introduction. Okay, perfect. So, that's, the, that's your introduction. That is going to be your introduction. By the way, this is one of the questions that just came one year um, in IELTS mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. Now, are we, are we okay so far? Yes, of course. Perfect. Now, when you say people's payment is the most significant aspect when determining occupation, you just agreed to the statement. Mm -hmm. You did not disagree. You just agreed. Yes, yes, we agreed. Next, yeah. next step is to build, to build um, a short essay of 250 words mm. to prove what yes. you said. Mm -hmm. Building on this, now look at this as a, um, the sample here that we have here. So we have five okay. paragraphs, and in yes. this five paragraphs um, essay, we are going to to um, give the introduction and mm -hmm. thesis statement. Thesis sta five paragraphs of the Britain. Say it again. I said introduction, three to five uh, paragraphs of body and then conclusion. Yes. Uh, did you see the photo that I sent you or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, we're just, we're just building. We're just building on mm -hmm. writing a framework that seems um, similar, that seems very similar to this paragraph, mm. paragraph by paragraph. Mm. Introduction is just what I told you, but you just need to add more meat to it. Meat, yani laham, but we use the word meat metaphorically to refer to more words. Contents. Mm. And um, thesis statement is your stand. Statement, mm. bayan. Do you agree mm. or disagree? Do you, uh, are you with or against? cons and pros, something like that. Mm. Body and supporting paragraphs, it has to point to your experience, examples, evidence. You provide various types of evidence to support your statement. It's just a summary of the beginning. Mm. Summary and paraphrases, uh, it paraphrases the introduction. Conclusion just paraphrases the introduction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have to write anything new. You just need to um, paraphrase the introduction. Great. Perfect. Now, let's have a look at the second example that we do have here. Some people believe that unpaid community service should be a compulsory part of high school mm -hmm. program. For example, yeah. working for a charity, improving the neighborhood, or teaching sports to younger children. First thing you need to ask yourself, do I understand what this is? 
Ask yourself. Okay. In order to do so, you need to read the question multiple times to get to a point of satisfaction with understanding the whole point. The next part is, what do I know about this? What's my background? Do I have any experience? Have I heard any people talk about this particularly or not? So some people believe that unpaid community service should be compulsory. Unpaid community service mm -hmm. is where people volunteer to clean streets or uh, work in a hospital or any, any other kind of community service mm -hmm. when they're growing up, just to help become effective society members. Mm -hmm. Are we clear so far? Yes. Okay, now what we are going to do is do paraphrasing. That's the second part. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just um, just to, to be clear, uh, Zainab, this is the definition of paraphrasing. It's expressing the meaning or of the writer or speaker or something written or spoken using different words, especially to achieve greater clarity. You can either quote or paraphrase literary text. So mm -hmm. what we do have here is the definition of paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, some people, uh, the statement is, some people believe that unpaid community service should be a compulsory part of high school programs. For example, working for a, a charity, improving the neighborhood, or teaching sports okay. to younger generation. I think it's uh, gonna be uh, the free social services. Uh, I want you to write that down. Oh, sorry. In the chat, because we are building a word by word practice here. Now, most of your struggle comes from the fact that you don't know what you write in the first paragraph. And it's mm -hmm. it's there, accessible to you. You just need to masterfully uh, learn this trick so you can become able to just straightforwardly start writing without hesitation. You know, you get stuck in, when you ask that, when you are asked that question, just because you're not quite familiar with how to structure the question, but it's a trick that comes as a skill. Mm. So the more vocabulary you have, the more synonyms you have, the better chance you will master this trick. Okay. Um, have it as the final um, draft. You can just come up with something. I, I can help you here. Um, I think I, I'm just typing it. You mm -hmm. will see it right now. Yeah, one of the conditions required to apply. I want you to think out loud so I can hear you. Um, the free social services should be uh, one of the conditions required to apply to certain school program. And uh, let me just rephrase it again. How about we shift the front to the back and the back to yes, the front? I'm so to shift. Yes, yes. So, for example, what I'm trying to do is, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, um, um, the free social service should be one of the conditions. Mm -hmm. Now, the word conditions is not suitable for this context, Zainab. Uh, Sometimes words and context do not have the same meaning as words in dictionary. 
Just because we know the meaning of a word does not necessarily mean that it fits that context. Because the reason that I use this word is that, you know, when we apply to um, a university or a certain program mm -hmm. uh, online, they said, let's say it's a conditional or non-conditional. No, they words. say prerequisites. Mm. The word is prerequisite. Mm. So um, maybe the provision, we, we just need to start up with something far more formal than this uh, okay. sentence that you said here. Okay. One of the basic, let's just say that I don't know the, the word prerequisites, okay? One of the basic... But now you know the word. Okay. <laughs> Prerequisite. Uh, let's, let me give you an, an, the summary of this word because you need to understand it. Requisite is from the word require. Yeah. Pre is before, like preposition. Preposition is something before position. We call it preposition. So pre is a, a prefix that means before. So prerequisite, that means before the requirement, which is very close in the vicinity or meaning of uh, the word conditional. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say the free social service should be one of the conditions required to apply to certain school programs. Mm -hmm. When I read this, I would say, well, we need to have another round of reading for the question, the statement. It says, some people believe that unpaid community service should be compulsory part of high school programs. For example... Mm -hmm. Um, working for charity, improving the neighborhood, or teaching sports to younger children. What we can do is simply copy that part, a compulsory part of high school programs. Mm -hmm. So this part, we just need to paraphrase it. So we say, for example, the up the obligation mm -hmm. instead of compulsory. Yes. So high school programs, high school programs ought to, instead of should, we just need to sound more academic and use um, a different set of terminology here. So high school programs. I think. <laughs> huh? I didn't hear this word or read it for about twenty years. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but it it's an obligation actually to learn this uh, this yeah. synonym. Mm. You just yeah. learned it in high school, not anymore used. Yeah. So high yeah. high school high school uh, programs or two. Mm -hmm. Obligate their attendees mm -hmm. instead of students or learners mm -hmm. uh, should obligate their attendees to um, require in Gul, Methalan, urge, has a, we can't urge. Uh, conduct, perform, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, the, the more academic words you, you, uh, you embed here, the better, because you need to show off your skills in academic writing by knowing more vocabulary, by showing that you know more vocabulary. If we do this, you will be marked high, you will be marked high in lexical diversity, which is the section of it checking the, the performance of students with knowing many vocabulary, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the conditions to get nine in IELTS writing. You need to have higher 
score and lexical diversity, which is one of the conditions to get nine, 8.5 in IELTS. So we have task achievement, we have lexical diversity, we have cohesion and coherence, and we have grammar, grammatical range and accuracy. These are the four that we talked about in our last meeting. Mm -hmm. So what we did here, high school programs ought to obligate their attendees to urge, conduct, or perform, choose one. Mm -hmm. I'll choose urge. Uh, okay, perfect. So I want you to complete this sentence here. The urge. Mm -hmm. To urge uh, their attendees to uh, apply. Is that a question or um, a statement? No, I'm thinking of... Okay. Uh, just trust yourself and write it down. And if it's not perfect, we can just okay. discuss it. I mean, I'm not going to give you a, a markdown if you say something um, not fit with this context. We're just helping each other. Mm -hmm. Where are your attendees? I like the term. Mm -hmm. and no, obligate their attendees to urge uh, mm -hmm. to urge to uh, so a, a free social service. Okay. To one of the two. it is right. Urge to uh, enroll. When you say it is right, that's not a question. But yes. It can be it can be a form of paraphrasing. One mm -hmm. of the three requisites, prerequisites. No, I'm saying urge to enroll into one of the uh, free social services. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, so far we have accomplished a great deal progress mm -hmm. um, from the beginning by just uh, writing writing down an introduction um, to uh, to the the statement that is given to us mm. sounds good well I, I, I like such a task I have to do more yeah okay now when we are done, I want I want I want you to write to me the final draft here. Just give me the final draft, the final verdict of the statement. Some people believe that unpaid community, you have around one minute to do this. So I'll be waiting watching you, but do it as quick as possible because um we don't uh, want well, to run. So I'm sending the messages no. but uh, it kept said sending only. Oh, that's There's because of that's because of Jafar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to write the whole structure, uh, Zainab. The whole structure, not just uh, uh, yes. not, not not just one line. Okay. Yes. Okay. Some people believe the unpaid community service should be a compulsory part of the school. Mm -hmm. um, the basic requirements of requisites. <coughs> Thirty seconds. The basic period of the top right high school program should 
I send it. It said one of the uh, basic prerequisites to apply to a high school program uh, to high school programs ought to be the uh, contribution in the uh, free social services. Okay, I didn't get it yet, but uh, I'll trust that you sent it here. Now, next, <clears throat> people, people should follow the customs and traditions when people start to live in a new country. Do you agree or disagree, first of all? We talked about that in our last meeting. I don't have to, I think. This is the, the major idea. Okay, now, so one of the basic prerequisites to apply to a high school program ought to be that the contribution in the social. Yeah, but this needs a little bit more modification. However, let's talk about the question that I sent you uh, here. Uh, because we're just constantly pra practicing that. And um, we can, we can, we're just going through how we build just uh, the first two to three sentences of an article in an essay without adding anything. We're just rephrasing the structure of the beginning of the IELTS in our own words. Because sometimes we get stuck. It's the last task we do. And sometimes we are exhausted. We don't know what to think about. So we need to start from a certain point. And this certain point is presented to us. We just need to modify it in our own words but in a very artistic way. Mm. People should follow the customs mm -hmm. and traditions uh, when people start to live in a new country. How do we paraphrase this? That's the question, first of all. Um, <clears throat> um, I think living in a, a mm. new country uh, might obligate uh -huh. um, the people uh -huh. To wear their to wear and to wear wear to wear sorry Cust yeah. not their costumes Zainab customs uh, اللي هي التقاليد not costumes اللي هي ال ال أزياء أو الملابس okay so living in a new country might obligate uh, the immigrants uh, Yes, the immigrant. Mm -hmm. To? To wear the costumes. We say costumes? No, Zainab. Co costumes, hadi melabis or azia. Hadi customs, illi hiya taqalid, or al adat. Yeah, in just yeah, in a positive, uh, mm. opposite way. Yeah. Uh, customs, okay. customs, hamati and ma'na gamarik. Customs, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. okay, so living in a new country. So, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obligate the immigrants to um, follow. To, to, to obey. To obey. I love this word. To obey the, uh, the uh, traditions. Okay. And norms, and norms, norms, norms of the mm -hmm. new uh, of the new country. Now we can we can run an another level or another layer of 
uh, paraphrase, uh, paraphrasing here, but I, I think you get the idea. Yes. Living in a country might implicate immigrants. <clears throat> okay, next one is there are many different types of music in the world today. How do we paraphrase this? Very easy. By the way, there is no one way in my mind of how to paraphrase this. When I am asking this, is it's very open. Mm. Variable kinds of music. Just write it down. Just nowadays. write it down when you are talking. So there are. Are you going to say there are again, just like yeah. the question, or you change it in your own words? In my own words, variable kinds. No, we say we uh, just need to shift back and forth. It's a trick, Zainab. It's a trick. Mm -hmm. There are many different types of music in the world today. In the world, yeah. so in, in the world, or nowadays, in the world, uh huh. Nowadays, there seems to be yes. blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, in the world. So, why is it in the world? Nowadays, in the world, I cannot get it. Nowadays, in the world, no. yeah. Nowadays, in the world, there are there seems to be blah blah blah. There, there are many different types of music in the world today. So, world today, the world nowadays. We're just shifting. Mm. Oh. We're, we're bringing the end of the sentence to put it in the beginning, and that just makes it a little bit different. So, we just run a little bit of mud they can find outside their home country. How do we paraphrase this? Um... So far, I'm just checking if you have digested the whole uh, trick here. It's a trick we learn by practice. Yes. Cool. Um, I will say. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in order to live in a highly standardized, uh, and highly standardized. Um, Mm -hmm. Just not. Society, community. Uh, yes, community or society. Society is, be is bigger than community. Mm -hmm. Yes. Abroad. Some, uh, some people. Can we say some people? It is academic? Um, people? It is academic. Uh, but the word people uh, mm -hmm. here. Okay, so some people. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Uh, will choose. Will no. Will choose. No, no. I want to have another word, a synonym. Uh, um, will select. Will select. Uh, no. The word select is not. Right, mm. but let's ask ourselves, when we choose, we determine, um, we opt, opt to determine, okay, intend is another expression here, so there's a variety of expressions that we can select and choose from. Uh, so, in order to live in a highly standardized community, mm -hmm. uh, some people will intend. To the work. word standardized is not suitable for this text. <laughs> okay. And, um, just read it again. Many people choose to work or I love that. Abroad. Because of the higher standards of living, they can find outside their home community, mm -hmm. the home country. And in order to 
What about legendary? It's your it's your call. You have around thirty seconds. Okay. Because of the uh, higher standard, no, because of the higher standard. We can say, don't use because, use due to. Due to have, uh, due to the higher standards uh, mm -hmm. available. Uh, I don't know. I cannot rephrase it in the proper way. <laughs> You can. You're a hero. You can do it. Uh, simply, we can say because uh, due to the higher standards of living mm -hmm. uh, found outside uh, some people countries abroad. Uh, you mean abroad? Mm -hmm. They may um, they may intend to uh, work or to um, have uh, to have a job or to. Um, Just write it down. Okay. I know it's challenging, and sometimes you need to bleed some thoughts out there on your paper, uh, but it's it's gonna it's gonna get us somewhere. Trust me. Okay. <clears throat> Due to high standards of living available mm -hmm. aboard, some people might can you just to live or work in other countries. I have sent it. Okay. I have sent it, but uh, internet issues. Let me just check it out. Okay. Our next one and last one. It is more important for school children to learn 
about local history than world history. I want you just to paraphrase this and that's it. Okay.